Hi again, we're back. <laughs> we're going to um, make you a short video on how we put labels on our rocks. People have been asking about that. So that's what we're here doing today. Hope you're ready. If you're not. Nope. <laughs> nope. Bye. <sighs> so we have some rocks here that we gathered <clears throat> that needed to uh, have some clear coat put on them. They started to fade a little bit and this one was completely, um, there was nothing left on it, a couple spots. So what we did was we touched these up really carefully, <clears throat> trying to follow the color lines of um, the previous painter. And we just added a little bit of glitter here and there, um, like there's see the little one. We added a little bit of glitter, and then we spray coated all of these really, really good with glue and spray paint that helps seal the the paint colors on. This is what we use to seal the paint colors on Mod Podge gloss. So we spray every surface of the rock on the top that has paint on it, and that gets the color on it really nicely set and then after that dries we just do a plain clear coat of spray paint just on the top we don't do the bottoms that's where the labels come in so all of these had a really basic touch up put a little glitter on them um, not much more than that and spray painted them with the clear and then we have some from the other day that don't have labels on them so we're gonna put those and then we have two more rocks that we found that we're keeping that don't have labels on them. So we're gonna put labels on those also. So when we decide to set them free in the world, they will have a label. So that's the plan for today. Prepare yourself. So while well, my assistant starts flipping these rocks upside down, and it's easier to put all your rocks upside down and get ready for your labels, we have pre-made different size labels. So we have a label for every rock that we use. One, two, oh, here's the little ones, three. So we're just gonna go through and pick the label that is most likely going to fit the rock and put it with the rock so we're ready to go. And the little tiny labels we make, sometimes they're not even small enough because like some of these rocks are really tiny. We'll just pin the edges. So here we go. Some of the rocks are super bumpy, and so you're going to have to get messy. We paste them all in, so if you, if you bring the brush in from the outside of every edge, it pushes glue underneath it, and it pushes it down into those cracks. So if it's really bumpy or it edges up, just push it down with your finger, and then paint from the outside in to try and get any loose edges stuck with paint and that also works when you have to wrap a label around the edge of a smaller one. Once they're all done, you can kind of go back to the beginning and start over. Um, just kind of check the edges. Sometimes it bubbles. You can roll your finger over it and 
push the glue out. You don't want to mess with the labels too much because if you do, the ink will start coming off. But just give them a second go over. Get any edges that you might have missed. And then you're done. Especially these weird little ones. They have little indentations that you can just really push hard with your brush or with your finger. And then you're done. Wait till they dry. Second